the worst Star Wars movie of all time. No, not that one. Or that one. Somehow Palpatine returned. No, this is one that George Lucas despised and didn't even want to be released. May the Force. Force. The Force. The Force. The Force. The Force. The Force will be with you. Always. Welcome to Star Wars Uplink, your place for everything Star Wars gaming, the TV shows, and the movies. Each week we dive deep into two topics from the galaxy far, far away. I'm your host, Sage Goodwin. And as always, I'm joined by Sydney Laurel. How are you doing? Hey. Today, this is this is not a two-topic episode. This is a holiday special. Woo! We reacted on our channel to the holiday special, which you can totally check that out on youtube.com slash at Star Wars Uplink. So this is Sydney's first time watching it, and this was my first time watching the entirety of it. So we've got a bunch of like a fun highlights there. So we watched it for the first time, and we want to make a special holiday episode all about that, talking about... <laughs> so it's going to be a shorter one today, but... Small episode, talking about the holiday special. Let's jump right in. Holiday special, 1978, man. Wow. Just imagine, you're, you're tuning in. You're getting ready to watch and this version that we saw on YouTube. was original programming of The Incredible Hulk is not going to be on tonight. And instead, it's going to be uh, the holiday special, Star Wars, 1978, blah, blah, blah. You, you, got, you go in. Yeah. And for like the first 15 to 20 minutes, it is just Wookiees. Wookiees screaming at each other. Yep. Wow. I think I'd be pretty disappointed if I was expecting Hulk and I got screaming Wookiees. If, not even that, (laughs) if you're a Star Wars fan Mm. and you're like, man, Star Wars, there's going to be a holiday special. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And no, it's the only good part. And I will say, it's it was pretty good, mm-hmm. was the animated section. Yeah, I would agree. Now, they do le- at least lead off with something pretty promising with like Han and Chewie together, and you're like, okay, so there are humans in this. Like Your, your first initial reaction is like, okay, we're getting into something, they're getting shot at, cool. Um, but yeah, after the uh, next 15 minutes of just Wookiee talking... Um, yeah, I think my host would be dashed. Because mm-hmm. uh. <laughs> it's not just Wookiee talking. It is Wookiee's... Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. And no subtitles. And it goes on for way too long. Way too long. There's just so much in that that was like, what? There's a cooking show. <laughs> There's a cooking show. There's a YouTube... Tutorial. Tutorial. There's two... Music, music concerts. moments. Mm-hmm. Um, One of which... I mean, one of them is really weird. It's the grandpa on the VR headset. And, a little questionable. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. The second one, it's literally the guards that are searching their house that yeah. takes a moment to stop and watch <laughs> this music special. <laughs> like, what? What? Um, okay. <laughs> so confusing. It's so honestly. fascinating because like, there's so many moments where it's like the stakes are so high. Like, oh my gosh, martial law is coming. And, like, Darth like, Vader's involved. Darth Vader's involved. And like, we're getting secret messages to and fro from these guys. And like, and then we had these long stints of like domestic life. And um, <laughs> yes, yeah, cooking show. There's a shopping dude who has an off hours imperial uh-huh. guard that doesn't like fish and yep. is looking for something. You have the overarching theme of like them wanting to go to Life Day. But they're waiting for Chewy. Waiting for Chewy. And all the while they have they're getting chased by the Empire. They're getting shot down. They're getting it's broken up by the moments at the house with Wookiees and it's all around like these TV things. They're basically Skyping people and they're like, Hey, have you seen this? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, what? Wh- where's where's Chewbacca? Where's Hans? Oh, <laughs> oh, he's not there. Oh my gosh. I'm sure he's on his way. <laughs> Hopefully nothing ha- bad happened to him. And then Luke's like, Man, something must must be Something bad must have happened if he's not there already. Yeah, I better go find out. So he goes, tracks them down, I think, because this is all in the animated section. Yeah, yeah. And it was very confusing if this was like a TV show. Obviously, it wasn't. No. But it's all animated, and And Luke goes and tracks them down. But somehow, 
the little Wookiee has figured out how to get this information. Yeah. Possibly from the tutorial. I'm not sure. Um, no, this was before the tutorial. Yeah. He's so just got like this little like headset this little, thing. Like, webcam that he can follow them all with or yeah. something. Who's controlling the camera? <laughs> yeah. So somehow he gets all that uh, information and we get this animated segment of <laughs> the adventures of Boba Fett, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and <laughs> like, what mm-hmm. is going on? So Chewie has this medallion that he has to throw away, but because it releases this. It has uh, this is an imperial medallion that causes sleeping spells. But he threw it away, and because he threw it away, then Luke. No, Luke like passed out first because he, he still yeah. had the medallion. Yeah, and then he threw it away because he's like, no, don't. Th- uh. But for some reason, you have to be tied up upside down. Yeah, for some of reason. This thing. And they sell the antidote to it in a store. So, like, if anyone complains if something doesn't feel like Star Wars, just know in 1978, Mm. a year after A New Hope came out, you had this. And it was considered Star Wars. Just saying, if you get upset about bricks and screws in Star Wars, (laughs) that this was also Star Wars at one point in time. Yeah. I have a whole new appreciation and perspective on the new stuff that's coming out in Star Wars. (laughs) Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Wow. At least it's not holiday special bad. That pacing. Oh my Ooh. gosh. So what did you think about it? Because you've never. I mean, we. No. I showed you the Wookiee yeah. f- like first fifteen minutes. Yeah, which was torture. Yeah. Thank you for you're, that. You're welcome. Um, I actually appreciate it so much more knowing that there was an actual story mm-hmm. in this whole thing. Yeah. Um. There was a story. There was. There and it was good. At the end? By the end? I don't know. Kind of? Kind of. Um, if, you, if you can call it good? Yeah. Um, wow. Mm-hmm. That's about all I can say. It's just wow. <laughs> just like, wow. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I I appreciate it for what it is. Because mm-hmm. it, is, it is that. It's a holiday special. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like... Did you ever watch, um, I, I assume not because you've never seen um, Pee-wee until mm-hmm. we got married. Correct. Um, but Pee-wee Herman had a holiday special. Yeah. And it's very similar to this. Really? It came out, I think, in the 80s, maybe the 90s. Because there was the Pee-wee Herman show. Mm-hmm. And it was this big thing. And they had a holiday special. Michael Jackson's in it. Like, wow. there's a whole bunch of people. But they have, like, all of these little animated segments. Like, this was a big thing back mm-hmm. in like by, back in the day. Where they'd have these holiday specials. And it's, is, it's in that format. But it does not go well. Yeah, I think that would be, like, my next step would be to see other holiday specials taken around mm-hmm. this time. It's like, is this just how it is yeah um yeah it'd be really interesting just to see what was coming out at this time mm-hmm. and obviously it just feels really dated and like yes yes it does just really chaotic in the story they were trying to tell mm-hmm. and long and like I don't know. so long why is so if you back in the day if you factored in all of the advertisements and the commercials. It was two hours. That's insane. Two hours. I mean, the edited, like, edited down commercials out of it section was an hour and 37 minutes of wow. just, it's hard to describe. Mm-hmm. I, d- question for you. Yes. Do you think it's worth watching? Um, I would say parts of it are. I think if you're a Star Wars fan, you should watch it. You should it. at least watch it once. Yeah, watch it once, just so you know. Because it's this huge thing. It's this massive like cultural moment in uh-huh. Star Wars where George Lucas was not involved. This mm-hmm. was very early on. It had the original cast, but it didn't have any of the original creative people. And I think it was like a contract piece. So I think it's it's good to be aware of like some of the history around Star Wars, but don't expect anything great because it does yeah. live up to the <laughs> hype around how bad it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a good it's a good piece to be aware of and humbled by mm-hmm. and um but appreciate at the same time because I think yeah. it's great. Like <laughs> it's great for what it is. 
mm-hmm. and the time that it came out and <laughs> it's great it's a hodgepodge of genres animation yep. parody music uh-huh. the animated section i think is I like fun that. yeah i like, thought that was really great it's crappy oh yeah but intentionally crappy uh-huh. like it's not they weren't trying to do anything like artistically and like I don't visionary know. I with it's pretty cool and i mean it <laughs> it has a lot of it looks like an acid trip yeah oh yeah i mean that's based i mean mm-hmm. i i would bet money that most of the people that were involved in making this had some kind of substances that they were taking they had to i mean it was the 70s i mean yeah the 80s were about to begin yeah because man, so much of it is just like I mean that animated section is just vibrant. It's chaotic. They have Darth Vader. All of I yeah. mean they did Han Solo dirty. Yeah, they really did. They did I'm a so horrible sorry. job of animating him. Is that what C three PO blinks look like in animation in that time? I Fascinating. Know. Just like long nosed, squinty eyed, mm-hmm. big mouthed, yeah, caricature. Wow. Mm-hmm. Luke looked like Luke. Yeah, Luke looked pretty normal. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, c 3 was very expressive yeah. for a robot. Um, and it began the whole idea of what Boba Fett is, mm-hmm. which is cool. I think that was the most like intriguing part. Yeah. It's like, oh, fascinating. Mm-hmm. Like, he was, yeah, he was like, not nice guy, nice guy. Yeah. Hello, not friend. Not nice guy. <laughs> Hello. Can we trust him? No, we can't. Oh, what? But also, like, he gets away so easily. <laughs> he does. Like, they don't even... He doesn't even try to kill them no. or... No. In fact, he's, he saves them. So he is a nice yeah. guy. Um, but he's but, all he was all put up to this uh, f- yeah. because of Darth Vader mm-hmm. wanting to get access to them, find out where the secret rebel base is. But he wants them alive. So. No disintegration. Yes. Yeah. Dang. But it, it, like, created a very iconic <laughs> vision of Boba Fett. There was a mm-hmm. toy that came out of it. <laughs> There, um, it was the the he has the very like interesting white suit. Mm-hmm. It's not the Boba Fett that we know. It's yeah. the white suit Boba Fett. Yeah. But he has all the different pieces. He has the the weapon that is in the Mandalorian. He uses mm-hmm. the disintegration rifle or whatever it's called. Um, and then he's got the jetpack. He's got yep. the rocket launcher. Yep. Like he has the the rope on yep. his wrist thing. Like he has all the pieces mm-hmm. that we know of as Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. And it's all in this little animated thing that did not go over very well it's a hidden gem truly it is yeah like i if you don't watch it at least watch the animated Mm -hmm. part because i think the animated part definitely has some cool moments to it and it it kind of fleshes out the boba fett character you think so i think so i think it was a good starting point Mm -hmm. for boba fett yeah like it's like a Ooh, we have a really intriguing character. Well, we know more about Boba Fett through this than we do of in the actual original trilogy. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like what we see him a couple times. We see him in like the Empire Strikes Just Back, standing and then there he being ominous. Dies in right the Return of the Jedi. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah. At least he actually had a role. He did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. And he was actually cool. So that's Yeah, nice. he was. And he's regarded as the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's cool. Yeah. I would have liked to see more of that like fleshed out in Book of Boba Fett, for mm-hmm. sure. I think just the idea that he is the best bounty hunter, and but in Book of Boba Fett, he just gets his butt kicked all of the time. Yeah. We need to rewatch that. We do. We should rewatch that. I would like to see it in this lens now. Yeah, this new lens mm-hmm. that both Eckhart's Ladder and Alex mm-hmm. and Molly have yeah. bestowed upon us, yeah. which is good. Who would have known, like, Justin, <laughs> Alex, and Molly would make us appreciate Book of Boba Fett? Mm-hmm. I mean, hey. it's very strange. Mm-hmm. If you haven't um, listened to last episode, highly recommend it. Had a great time with Justin Eckhart's ladder, getting into the details around Jedi Survivor and the uh, just kind of the state that the whole Star Wars Mandalorian universe and Andor and all of that looks like now that we've gotten Andor. I, I really enjoyed the discussions that we had there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if we got like another holiday special? Yes, I could. And I think it would be... Lego did one. 
did they? Yeah, Lego did a holiday special, Lego style. Hmm. I couldn't. I tried watching it. I just could not get into it. I don't like the voices that they chose mm. for the characters. I just it it ground my ears to a pulp. Hmm. Like I did. I could not get into it. I've heard from some people that it's pretty good. I think Andrew Bombastic. He he did a few videos on it that were pretty funny, and yeah. I watched those. So I have an understanding of what the heck goes on there, gotcha. but like, I just couldn't get into it myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried, I tried so <laughs> hard to do that, but I just could not get into it. Both Finn and Ray's, the, whoever does the voices, I'm I'm sorry. This is not a reflection on who you, you are, who as, you are as a voice actor <laughs> or a person, but I just could not get into it, and that was the main reason was the voice acting. Mm. Just could not get into it. You're pretty easily disturbed by sounds and voices, though, yeah, too, because you're true. like the ultimate sound guy. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I've ruined several movies for Sydney mm-hmm. because of I'll pick up certain things yeah. and then she's like, "Oh no, yeah, why did you have to tell me that?" Yeah, um, not intentionally, but it's just something that I'll pick up and I'll bring up, and then people realize and they're like, "Oh gosh, why did you have to say that?" No, no. <laughs> most of the time I'm not as bothered as it of it as you are Mm -hmm. but if i know you're bothered by something then i'm already bothered i'm like oh gosh now he can't enjoy the thing (laughs) anymore and (laughs) yeah Mm -hmm. (laughs) but this holiday special i think is it's very it's a it's a time capsule i'd say it really is yeah i mean it doesn't age well obviously Mm -hmm. but it's still it's a fascinating piece i feel like i've seen i've lifted the curtain to like the past like yeah. i feel like i've come it, it's a good part of star wars history yeah. it it gives you an understanding of where star wars once was what was considered star wars and just like it's fun campy it's horrible mm-hmm. but it also has like a, a an air of like i don't know charm mm-hmm. because of it yeah yep yeah. ken doll Yep. Luke Skywalker yep. and very high Carrie, Carrie Fisher, Fisher and, and uh, does not want to be there. Harrison Ford. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a time. Mm-hmm. But definitely watch it. Um, definitely have your fast forward ready. Yes. Um, feel free to skip through. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Long story short, it sucks. Watch it. It's a fun time. Mm-hmm. But don't be like, I have to sit down and watch every single second of it. Because yeah. you will go insane. Yeah, you probably will. You will start growling like a Wookiee by yes. the end of it. Because you'll just be, your brain will be mush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we wanted to hop on the podcast. Uh, we're, we will be offline during Christmas. But we wanted to bring something to the channel to have a fun time, discuss yeah. some Star Wars things. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the description or below the description in the comments section. If you're watching this on YouTube, contact at Uplink Podcast or at Star Wars Uplink on the social medias. Definitely let us know. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what you what was the first experience you had with it if you watched it, and are you going to watch it now that you've heard us talk about it? Uh, it's gonna be fascinating. Yeah. But with that, thank you all so much for listening to this episode of the podcast or watching it if you're on YouTube. If you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're listening to this on the podcast, don't forget to subscribe as well. It's completely free. Make sure that every single episode gets into your podcast feed or app of choice. And uh, hey, while you're there, leave us a review. It would be very helpful. Rate us on Spotify. Uh, I think we've got like we've got a pretty good rating on there. Yeah. With like a, I think over 20 something reviews we'd love to get that number up so if you're on spotify hey let us know give us a give us a review there it's super easy like you just go into the podcast app or you just go to our feed and the the spotify app click the star give us whatever rating you you think we deserve five stars uh but hey definitely appreciate it as always thanks for watching and may the force be with you